Hi, this is Jack from Alpha Charts uh, with a educational vid video on how I do my IPO scan. Before we get started, this video is for educational purposes only. These are not recommendations to buy, sell, or hold any stock or security. Now I may hold positions in some of the equities mentioned. Know your time frame and risk tolerance. Also, if you like these types of videos, please go ahead and subscribe and like it. Um, it helps me with the uh, YouTube algorithms. Again, it just shows me that you guys appreciate these types of videos. Um, so my IPO scans. Now IPOs are really, really important in the market. You know, they're the ones that have the largest growth. They may not be priced right. So we can maybe take um, advantage of that mispricing and hopefully get large gains from them. So the screener that I'm going to go over today is the one that I use personally. Um, and it is, um, it basically takes into all the factors I am looking for in an IPO. So let's get started. I'm using finviz.com free screener here. I'm gonna go straight to the screener tab right over here. And it's free. So we get the pop up sometimes. All right. So in my descriptive terms, okay, what am I going to look for? I am looking for a couple things. First off, I'm almost always going to look for USA IPOs. Not always, but almost always. So I keep that as one of my filters. If I go over here to industry, I only want to deal with stocks. Again, before we even go any further, look, 8,543. Now we're going to USA. It goes down to 7,346. Stocks only. We're down to 4,900 or so. Okay. Um, and I do want IPOs, but I don't want little tiny nothing companies. I like IPOs that have at least two billion or more in market cap. Okay, yeah, now we're down to 1,500 um, possibilities, right? Average volume, I mean, over 300,000 would be probably my, my minimum. You know, 500 would be better, but 300 would be acceptable. All right, cut down a little bit more. And then IPO date. Well, we have a couple options here. Now, a lot of times I will start at last five years, but very commonly in good markets, I'm looking at maybe the last three years or maybe even, you know, within the last year. Okay. Depends on how low you want to go. Let's keep it at last five years for now. Okay. 248 possibilities. Again, you get to play with this, right? You get to choose. Do you want to say USA centric or not? Do you want to, you know, do last five years or last three years? Either one is, is really acceptable and, and, and you fit it for your style. All right, but we'll do last five years. That's fine. All right. So what else am I looking for? I'm going to switch to the fundamental tab. Okay. Um, hold on one second. There's one more thing I missed on descriptive. I apologize for that. Yeah. Price. Price. I don't want anything too small, over $10. That's it, all right? And we're down to roughly 200 names, okay? So there's six total on this tab. Let's go to fundamental. I only care about one thing, and I'm earning per share growth over next year, right over here. I want that as high as possible, so over 30% is my option, all right? So now we're down to 71 names. That's not bad. So let's go into the technical tab next. All right, and the technical tab, I only want things that are going up, right? I don't want things going down or sideways. So in order to increase my chance of getting that, I'm going to do price above SMA 20, price above SMA 50, and price above SMA 200. All right, now we're down to nine names. Currently, I'm doing this on July 16th, 2022. We're in a bear market. And so the names are going to be on the smaller side. But again, these may be the ones that are leading out of the bear. Now, I'm not done, though. There's got to be one more thing that's going to help to differentiate what a good stock is from a great stock. And the last thing is change from open right over here. So change from open is basically the market doesn't care. You know, or this doesn't care if a stock gap down, if it opened flat or if it gapped up. What it's looking for is that no matter where it opened, buyers showed up and pushed it higher. That's really, really important, in my opinion. That shows that there's an appetite for this particular equity. And I think that change from open up. I don't care about how much, it was just up. And this gives us a very, very concentrated 
good look on um, the markets. And if we do this, and let's just go to trading view real fast. And, you know, let's go get some of these names like uh, Bumble. First one on there, right? And just get that in here. Sorry. Uh, la, 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 la. Charts. There we go. And BMBL. And look at this. Well, weekly. So let's switch it back to daily. And yeah, so pretty good looking chart, right? Um, again, it's up to us to chart each of these and know what's what's going on. But it's got a little, you know, a little up, a little flag. I mean, looks pretty good, right? Maybe something that you want to put on a watch list and see. Again, you can do it each one. You know, PRVA has been a, a pretty good one. It's been on this list for a while. Again, great looking name and an uptrend, you know, extended, but looks good. Um, Shockwave, SWAV. Again, really good looking name, lots of accumulation. So, you know, this is in a good market, you may get a bunch more names. Um, you also may get some um, things that were bought out or whatever. It, again, it's up to you to go through each name and identify them um, and, and play with the settings. Maybe, you know, it, we're in... Um, you know, we're in a bear market. So maybe say, you know, I want to see what's setting up, but it's above the 50 day, but not the 200 day. And maybe this will give you some more ideas, right? Of what you want to do. Um, toggle things on and off, right? Okay, I want the last three years, but I also want to see just above the 50 day. Okay, well, there's Brothers Coffee. Hmm, that may be interesting, right? Um, DV, that's one that I'm looking at a lot right now. IOT, that one looks really, really good. So just because I presented this particular scan, I think it's a good one, but I, I change things all the time, just like I just showed you, just to see how it changes it. And I, and I encourage everybody, you know, to do it, whether you want to be USA centric or not, IPO last three to five years, whatever. Definitely, you know, do what you need to do to make the scan work for you. That's the most important. All right. Hope you guys like this. Let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, if you've tried it, if you started using it, if, um, things that you may want to change on it that you think would be better. Um, we'd love to hear from y'all, okay? Thanks a lot. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.